Welcome to the Center for Online Learning and Teaching Technologies Micro Lecture on Assessments. Assessments are used to measure whether or not students have achieved the stated learning objectives you have set out for your course. They also measure the effectiveness of student learning and are integral to the learning process. They are the evidence that we need to guide future instruction to ensure students can accomplish the task that we set out for them and they are direct measures of our learning objectives. Referring back to quality matters, QM has five specific standards that support General Standard 3. Assessments, align, have a clear grading policy, are specific and descriptive criteria for learners evaluation, sequenced, varied, and appropriate, and multiple opportunities to track learner progress. Alignment. Assessments should reveal how well students have learned what we want them to learn. When creating your assessments, we want to make sure that they align with our learning objectives, what we want our students to learn, and instructional activities, what exercises reinforce the learning objectives and prepare them for assessments. Do you provide specific and descriptive criteria that shows how you evaluate your assignments and how it ties to the grading policy? Here we are talking about rubrics. Clear and complete description of the criteria used to evaluate learners work. There is clear statement on instructors expectations on the required components of coursework and participation. Make sure these criteria are stated up front at the beginning of the course and rubrics will be covered more in depth on a future video. There are two types of assessments used in our courses. We have formative and summative. Formative tests are a series of low-stake formal and informal assessment procedures conducted during the learning process. These will shape teaching and learning activities to improve student attainment. Their purpose is to collect information that can be used to improve instruction while the learning process is taking place. Summative refers to the assessment used to evaluate student learning skills, acquisition, and academic achievement at the conclusion of the defined instructional period, typically at the end of a project, unit, course, semester, or program. Summative's purpose is to evaluate student learning at the end of an instructional unit by comparing it against a benchmark. Assessments must be sequenced and varied which is not just one type of assessment throughout each week or throughout each module. For example, it is not just discussion questions throughout the course. We must provide a variety of assessments to measure whether or not the students have mastered the lesson. Our assessments must also be appropriate to the level of the course. Multiple opportunities to track learners' progress. How is this done? Well, we can allow them to submit a draft where feedback is given with comments and suggestions for improvement. You can also provide them with self-mastery tests that include informative feedback with each answer choice. Practice quizzes, model papers, and interactive games are also another choice. Authentic assessments ask our students to perform real-world tasks that demonstrate meaningful application of essential knowledge and skills. Think about real-world scenarios and the work they will be doing in their field. We want to make sure we provide them with performance assessments that call upon the student to demonstrate specific skill sets and competencies that is to apply the skills and knowledge they have mastered. Always include a rubric to evaluate performance. This rubric serves multiple purposes. It helps us in grading, our students benefit from expectations being defined before task completion, and also, if we have coaches, we will already have the standards as to what we expect on our assignments. Authentic assessments take the form of application, activities, simulations, role-playing, using case studies and scenarios. Remember, they take a real-world focus and must be a direct measure of our objectives. Principles to guide student assessment. These are things we want to consider when developing assessments in our course. Encourage students to develop skills in providing feedback by providing guidelines to good feedback, 
we want to model what is expected of them, use assessment techniques that fit the context and align with the learning objectives, provide a real life situation, design assessments that are clear and easy to understand, also that they are likely to work on in an online environment, provide them with detail, ask for and incorporate student input. This allows for more flexibility and students are more motivated to complete the task. Here are some examples of authentic assessments. Make sure assessments align with learning objectives and label them. Incorporate a variety of assessments. Make sure that they are sequenced. Ask yourself, are they appropriate to the level of the course? Thank you for joining the Center for Online Learning and Teaching Technologies Micro Lecture on Assessments.